So I got this picture today of Gramps right before, you know, right after they moved to Florida. And honestly, you know, this is going to be a weird post. I could tell by the way Grandma's smiling, she's already senile. And this is uh, 18 years ago, I think. 17, 18 years ago. So, um, Dan and Ann moved in, I think around the same time they do, and they were cooking meth. And, um, you know, there were people cooking meth uh, around the neighborhood up in Indy, but, you know, I think Dan, Dan was trying to, deliberately trying to kill Gramps. So, um, anyway, um, you know, this is, you know, this is actually one of my aunts channeling my grandfather. Um, you can, uh, when you see the look at it, and he knows that I'm going to have this picture of him when I'm, when he's gone. You know, um, he didn't really have a day life, and he kind of set me up in a coalition family that he was managing. And, um, you know, so uh, anyway, um, you know, when I set Baba to Mongolia, or actually he did, you know, he's kind of sent himself to Mongolia. Um, it was to get fully, fully trained, you know, he's not really ready to consolidate yet, but, um, you know, when, uh, you know, I was thinking about Danny's scars on his belly. And, uh, anyway, if Gramps had stayed in this here and, um, uh, you know, been here full time and all that, he'd have been able to talk me in. See, so we had a deal that I would remember things, but I would get to remember what was pulled out, you know, if we had to, any kind of emergency, it was an emergency for me too, so I needed to keep the information. Um, Henry didn't, and some people have seen this picture today, and I said, oh, that guy, that's the guy that, um, you know, was the difference between, you know, all sorts of other things around here, because, um, you know, he was, he was a hitman, <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm not kidding around, um, among a lot of other things, and, um, um, and, and when he wasn't doing hits, man, he was hitting every, um, pantry and stuff, you know, I realized the other day that, you know, those people that, you know, everybody comes here to the Methodist church to get stuff at the pantry, and then most people walk right out and sell it to somebody, Rosie was one of the people they used to sell it to. And so we used to always have that stuff. You know, I recognized a lot of the stuff when I went in there, what they're giving out, you know. I'm really glad they ran out of veg all, though. <laughs> that stuff is nasty. And, um, you know, but I'm glad they still have the tuna fish. And they don't do um, Cracker Jacks anymore, but um, I like that they've gone to granola bars. And I go in and get it myself, and I eat it myself. I don't sell it to anybody. And the Gramps would hit every pantry that he knew about, and um, every thrift store, and every, um, you know, day-old bread, that kind of thing. You know, because we had lots of Hostess stuff. And um, is that place still here? He drove me down here one time. I remember it, because one time I was riding around on the bus when the bus used to go out that way. And I saw it, and I went, wait, I've been here before. But um, Bill didn't want me to learn all this stuff, because he was just going to dump me on the street without skills. And, uh, but, you know, you learn this stuff fast. He learned it fast. You know. And was totally opposed to all this stuff at one point. <laughs>